Yep, finally. Time to install the coolant. Evans coolant. Yes, made in USA. No more Chineseium crap. Uh, I've got uh, four gallons. Hopefully that should be enough. Ooh. I think it is. There you go, high performance waterless engine coolant. Do not add water. All right, so we should be good to go. And uh, let's, let's get on with it. Well, bollocks. Yeah, why? Uh, even after all my best efforts, that bloody water pump still leaks. Therefore, I've said fuck it. I'm going to buy a uh, reproduction water pump. I don't care that it's reproduction, as long as it works. And did I buy it from SNG Barrett? Did I fuck? I bought it from Moss. Now, I'm not a lover of Moss, but the price was good. And uh, it's a new water pump. It's not um, a rebuilt one. Oh, yeah, they'll rebuild you one for $600 fifty dollars at moss and four hundred of that they say is um core charge so you know you have to send them your old one so that still means they want two hundred and fifty dollars for giving you an old pump you know they put a rebuild kit in it well the rebuild kits um i know are about fifty bucks Oh, no, okay, so there's there's labour, but uh, two hundred dollars of labour? I don't think so, because don't forget you're sending them your old pump, which they'll use to make a new one and sell it to somebody else. So they're saying they will rebuild your pump, two hundred dollars labour and fifty bucks for the kit, and don't forget. <laughs> They're not paying 50 bucks for that kit. They're probably paying 20. So they're charging you $230 to rebuild your pump. And $20 for the kit. Hmm. Such a bargain. Okay. Look at that door handle very, very closely. We follow the chrome stripe along. Then we come to the rear door handle. Look at that. Very, very closely. It took... I was standing here just looking at it. Wondering. And then I realised this should be the front door handle. And this should be the rear door handle. And obviously the button has to be swapped because this one has the lock. How do I know this? Look at that. That has just got a little angle on it. And this one doesn't. It's, it's straight. And I believe I kept all of these together when I took each one apart and cleaned it I didn't get them mixed up because I had one in a bag and one in a bag and one in a bag so it's been like that since the day this car was built I am going to rectify that I've got to deal with this one anyway because there's a problem with this button <laughs> wow it's amazing what you discover yeah, it's hard to tell, but if you look, you can see that that is it's nice and straight there. And this is at an angle. Also, that is slightly, slightly thicker. Sorry, that's slightly thicker, that one. But yeah, just look at that. I mean, it's, it's minuscule, but it's there. Ha! <laughs> Damn. So do be aware of that when you're putting your car back together. 
Hey, a nice little trick, and I just caught it. Glad I did that before I put the doors back together. And now you can see, with the handles fitted back onto the car, how much better they look, particularly with the angle on this rear one. Yeah, amazing what you discover. Okay, um, with these door handles, here's a little trick I want to show you, and ignore the size of this bolt. Um, you've got to reach in through um, a little hole in the door and get uh, a washer, a spring washer, and a nut onto um, a stud that sticks through, and it's not always easy to get to. The trick I do is I put them on a spike like this. Then when I reach through, I rest the spike on the end of the stud, and then I can slide the washer down, slide the spring washer down, slide the nut down, and then spin it. Now, it's a little fiddly, I grant you that. It is fiddly. Um, but it sure beats trying to put this on, and then it drops off, and, and so on and so forth. You know, it's really a pain. So, just a little trick that I do that you may find helpful and just put your nut your washer and your washer on the spike push it in and then give it a tilt and they all roll to the end you do them one at a time that's what i do and uh, for extra security if you like or extra ease if you put some grease on the stud then once you push them on they won't fall off but that's up to you